I frequently get asked, is Pale Moon available on FreeBSD? And it is, but not in the way that you think. So, we go over to the FreeBSD port searcher, and we'll type in Pale Moon. And it says, sorry, nothing found. So, uh, you may look at other FreeBSD search services, which we will. We'll have a look at fresh ports. And this tends to be newer packages, etc. So, we'll have a look for Pale Moon in here. And just scroll over, and no results found. Oh dear. Right, so the best way, and the only way at the moment, at the date of this recording, is we go over to the Pale Moon website itself. And there it is, look. And if you go to Download Now, and oh, you've got Windows and Linux and Mac. If you scroll down, ta -da, there's FreeBSD. 64-bit only, and it's in beta. But, you know, we'll give it a spin. You have a click on the local mirror, well, the mirror closest to yourself, in which case it's Europe, and download the tarball, and there it is. It's not a large file, so it should take, mm, I don't know, about three or four seconds to download. A little bit longer in my case, of course. We then go over to the directory where we downloaded it, and I'll just list it in the uh, terminal there. And if we tar, this is how I do mine, you might do yours slightly different, or use a uh, point and click way of doing this. If I untar it, you can see the directory pops up there. And when it's finished, we'll uh, change directory into the Pale Moon folder. There it is, look. So CD uh, Pale Moon. And we'll list the contents. And so we put dot forward slash pale moon and it should start it up hopefully and there it is and there's pale moon browser with uh, if you need the pale moon browser which is a very good browser by the way it's actually quite quick uh here it is hopefully this will be put into ports or packages soon but for now this uh, beta is available on the pale moon website for us lucky freebsd users to download anyway it's a quick video thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out.